Hi there. Now for this question, we've got to find the general solution to this second order linear differential equation. So if you'd like to have a go at it and haven't had a chance to do that so far, then I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. And as usual, when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the methods involved. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So in order to solve a second order linear differential equation like this that doesn't equal zero, it's got a function of x on the end here, we have to do it in two parts. We have to find the complementary function and the particular integral. And then the general solution will be the sum of those two parts. So if you're unsure of this, do check out my video tutorials on that on my website. So first of all, then, we're going to work towards the complementary function, which means that we need to find the auxiliary equation. So just write that down here, the auxiliary equation. And that auxiliary equation will be, say, m squared. We've got 1 here. So it'll be 1m squared plus 2m plus 10, OK? m squared plus 2m plus 10, and this would equal 0. Now, this doesn't factorize, OK? So what we've got to do is use the quadratic formula. So using the quadratic formula, um, we've got a is 1, b is 2, c is 10 then. So we've got minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times the 1 times the 10, all divided by 2a. So that's going to be just 2. And then if you work this out, you've got the minus 2 here. Um, this comes to square root of negative 36. So you've got plus or minus square root of minus 36. And this is all divided by 2. And square root of minus 36 is going to be plus or minus 6i. So we've got minus 2 plus or minus 6i. And that's all over 2. And I can see that this reduces down to minus 1 plus or minus 3i. So that means that the complementary function, let's just abbreviate that to cf, is going to be y equals. Now when you've got imaginary roots here in the auxiliary equation, remember the form is going to be a cosine of, and we pick up on this value here, 3, so it's going to be 3x plus b sine 3x and all of this is multiplied by e to the power whatever you've got here in this case it's minus 1 e to the power minus x so that's our complementary function next we need to work out what our particular integral is going to be so we'll just come under here just squeeze this in down here so as for the particular integral then let's just put pi for short, OK, the particular integral, we pick up on this function of x down here. It's exponential. It's got the form ae to the power minus x. So I'm going to say let y equal ae to the power minus x. That a there is nothing to do with this constant a here. All right. Now, I'm going to call this equation 1. And we'll call this one too. And what I need to do in questions like this is to differentiate this to get dy by dx and then go on to differentiate it with respect to x again to get d2y by dx squared. So let's start then by differentiating this. First of all, we get dy by dx equals, and this is just going to be minus ae to the power minus x. I'll call that equation 3. And from this, it would follow that if I differentiate again d2y by dx squared, then this is going to be plus ae to the power minus x. And I'll call that equation 4. So what I'm going to do now is substitute 2, 3, and 4 into 1 here. OK, so we'll just make a note of that. Sub 2 and 3 and 4, OK, in 1. 
And doing that gives us, for d2i dx squared, we've got ae to the minus x, so ae to the power minus x. And then we've got two lots of dy by dx, so that's going to be minus 2a, e to the power minus x. Then we've got 10y, so that's going to be 10a plus 10a, e to the power minus x. And that's going to be equal to the 27e to the power minus x. So cleaning this up on the left hand side, okay, I can see that we're going to get 9ae to the power minus x, and that's going to be equal to the 27e to the power minus x. So clearly here, a's got to be 3, so therefore a equals 3. And that means that therefore the particular integral, pi, okay, is going to be y equals, and we know that a is 3, so it's going to be 3e to the power minus x. Now remember then that the general solution, just put it here, the general solution is basically y equals the complementary function plus the particular integral. So therefore, when it comes to the general solution, let's just write it in here, general solution is going to be y equals, complementary function is here, it's going to be a cosine of 3x plus b sine 3x, and all this is multiplied with e to the minus x, and then plus the particular integral, which is plus 3e to the power minus x. So there's your basic answer. You might want to take it further and factorise it, pull out e to the power minus x as a common factor, but essentially that's it.